They didn't have cranes. They didn't have steel tools. Yet somehow, they moved stones weighing over a hundred tons, the size of a house. Modern engineers struggle to explain it. The common claim, they dragged them on sledges or rolled them on logs. But here's the problem. Most of these sites sit on rough, uneven ground or soft clay that would sink under that weight. Take Baalbek in Lebanon. One stone alone, the stone of the pregnant woman, weighs about thousand tons. Even today, no heavy crane could lift it intact. To drag it, you'd need thousands of men pulling in perfect sink on terrain that's uphill. Then there's Egypt. Those granite blocks at the base of the Great Pyramid came from quarries hundreds of miles away. How do you move something that heavy without steel ropes or wheels. Engineers have run the numbers. With wooden sledges on sand, the friction would stop you cold unless you used massive amounts of water to lubricate the path. But no one has found physical evidence for a water trench wide enough for that scale. So either the ancients had a lost mechanical trick we haven't rediscovered, or our entire model of how they built these monuments is wrong. Whatever the answer, the 100-ton problem still stands literally carved in stone.